Teresa Berry Hulquist, an associate professor and the director of evaluation from the University of Nebraska Medical Center College of Nursing. The co-authors of this presentation are Lynette Stammer, Kevin Kupsick, and Louise Lockhorn Boyce. This presentation is Psychometrics and the Future of the Critical Thinking Assessment Scale, CTSAS, both for nursing students and practicing nurses, sound clinical judgment is crucial for delivering quality evidence-based patient care to lead teams and create new solutions to present and future challenges. Educators and administrators need valid and reliable methods to identify the existence, foster development, and measure use of critical thinking skills in students and practicing nurses. While critical thinking can be difficult to observe directly, it can be inferred from self-assessed or demonstrated behaviors or practices. Several tools exist to assess critical thinking, but they can be costly and results are not consistent across studies. Fascioni and colleagues developed a conceptual model that includes six core cognitive skills shown on the left of the poster and 16 subskills shown on the right for critical thinking, with the constructs originating from the consensus definition of critical thinking skills from the American Philosophical Association. The original tool was 160 items, which was revised to 115. We obtained 712 sa uh, samples from pre-licensure, traditional and accelerated nursing students. Expert review and statistical analysis resulted in a 46 item instrument with two to three items per each subskill. Internal consistency reliability values were all over 0.7 across all subscales and confirmatory factor analysis fit statistics indicated good modeled fit. We use the need for cognition scale as a comparative tool for validity analysis. The short form includes 18 items and has a Chromebox alpha of 0.9. In our study, we found convergent validity with the NCS. In summary, the 46 item CTSAS is a valid and reliable tool to measure critical thinking. The revised tool could be used with nursing students or practicing nurses to determine areas of strength and opportunities for improvement in critical thinking skills by developing individual or cohort reports. We plan to test the tool with the other health education students and do longitudinal analyses with students as they move through and complete the nursing program to see if there are improvements in critical thinking captured over time. We would also like to develop and test educational strategies to improve critical thinking in identified areas of weaknesses. On behalf of my co-authors, I want to say thanks for taking the time to view our poster. <laughs>